You have heard me say that no one should be fat, everyone should be lean, but what happens if you're somewhere in between? What I mean is you don't have a lot of muscle and you don't have a lot of fat, but for some strange reason you got fat right in your lower stomach area and on the outside of your love handle, so in your love handle area. You, sir, are skinny fat. No! There are several reasons why you're skinny fat in the first place, such as poor genetics, improper training, yo-yo dieting, crash dieting. There's a lot of reasons, but we're not focusing on that. We're here to provide the solution. And it's the perfect shitstorm. And when you're staring into that shit abyss with no hope left, fear not! Because this video today is all about how to solve being skinny fat once and for all. One, stop yo-yo dieting. The majority of skinny fat individuals either don't eat enough, have been chronically under eating or have tried diet patterns in the past that have proved unsuccessful where they eat too few calories and as a result their metabolism is all fucked up and they can't lose that weight so they're left with that last little bit of fat no we are not going to be cutting anymore you my friend are going to be going on a one year lean mass plan we're going to slowly start adding calories you start very low like about 2500 you're going to slowly ramp it up to you find that sweet spot where you're going to be building some size by building some muscle back you're going to be boosting your metabolism by boosting that metabolism you're going to be able to lose that last bit of fat so no more yo-yo dieting we're after lean healthy eating Two, forget about those abs, man. The number one thing I hear about skinny fat guys is, bro, listen, I got, I'm pretty lean. I just got a little bit of fat. I got some fat right around my stomach and right around my love handles. How do I get rid of that fat? The answer, honestly, is you can't right now because your metabolism is so fucked up that it would take you such a long time. I'm talking at least six months what would normally take you maybe four weeks to lose. Your metabolism is so messed up, it's going to be incredibly hard, next to impossible, right now in the short term, to lose that fat and get your abs. What you should do instead, as I said before, is do that one year lean eating mass plan and you'll find it so much easier then to get your abs after that. Three, feel your workouts. We've talked before, guys, about carb cycling, but we like to make it super simple around here because people try and complicate it and try and act fancy where there's really just a simple rule when it comes to carb cycling. It's a based upon activity. The more activity you do, the more carbs you should consume. It's dirt simple. So high intensity days, more carbs. Medium intensity days, medium amount of carbs. Not a lot of activity, not a lot of carbs. It's very simple. Work out for an hour and a half, you earn that sweet potato. Been playing Call of Duty all day, then maybe that pizza's not for you. Four, look after performance. Don't constantly day by day look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, uh, is it, am I losing, am I gaining muscle? Man, forget that stuff. Focus on performance. Okay, so what you want, you want to be recording, forget the scale right now, record numbers in your workout log on how you're progressing. Showing clear progression is going to allow you to gain that size and that muscle and get a better physique. So focus on your performance and you'll be amazed at the results that you have. Five, don't overexert your CNS, your central nervous system. Dominate all the way to use. I've said before, I've always said, you know, you should kick ass in the gym and train very hard. But what I mean by that, only ways that you could dominate. You should never feel or after a session that you should be crying in a corner, all cuddled up, scared because you train so hard that you feel so fatigued. It shouldn't be like that, especially for skinny fat individuals. The main reason, as I just said, is because you're skinny fat, you don't have a lot of muscle, you're not wired efficiently, your CNS, your central nervous system, is not efficient. So when you try and use all those muscle fibers and you overexert yourself, your body will not be able to recover. It makes much more sense to train at your level rather than over your level. So train very frequently, do a high volume, but at the current capacity that you have. So give what you have rather than trying to overexert yourself to get the body that you want and being left high and dry and feeling weak and then your performance suffers and it's a cyclical circle. You understand what I'm saying? I do. So I'm not saying be a wuss. I'm just saying don't pop a blood vessel when you're on the calf machine. Which, first of all, why the fuck are you on the calf machine? With these five tips, I guarantee give it a year's time and being skinny fat will be a thing of the past. Guys, do me a favor and pass this video around like an STD so we can raise awareness about being skinny fat and cure this once and for all. Because honestly, it's very simple. It just takes focus, patience, and perseverance. Like anything else that's worth it. And I want to hear from my subscribers, what should my next video be about? Post below in the comment section what you think my next video should be about. This is the rule it works. You're cool. You make a comment. I'll make a video. It's that simple. Make a suggestion.